Let's take a closer look at your campaign settings. From this video, you'll learn how to control your campaigns from the Campaigns Manager panel. See four campaign modes explained. Learn how and where you should set the general limits for Linkit Helper. On a campaign level, we will also look at the action limits and see how all of these work together. If you need a general guide on how to create campaigns and build sequences, refer to our Drip Campaigns Get Started video. Campaigns Manager. You will find it on the control panel on the left. This is a list of all the campaigns that you've ever created. Each campaign has a status. There are five of them. Running, queued, slipping, stopped or completed. Click the Start button next to the campaign to start a single campaign. You will see its status changed to Running, means it is active now. If you try to start another campaign at the same time, it will appear as queued, waiting its turn for execution. This also shows as queued if you are not logged into your LinkedIn account for some reason. A completed campaign means that all profiles have been processed and actions taken. Also, a newly created campaign with zero profiles in the queue has a completed status. And if you stop an active campaign manually, the status will show as stopped. A sleeping status means that Linked Helper has done the first batch of profiles and waits to continue with the next batch. Consider this campaign for example. I have chosen to extract 20 company pages and then have a 3 minute timeout before getting to the next bunch of 20. The campaign is now in its fourth batch, so it started with the 61st profile. When the number of processed reaches 80, it will go to sleep. Let's see if that happens. A campaign might go to sleep because you've run out of daily actions according to your settings. The counter of daily actions appears on top of your Campaigns Manager panel. The aim of this setting is to keep your LinkedIn profile activity at a safe level. Let's go to the Limit section of the settings to change that. When you reach 150 during the day, Linked Helper will pause until the next day begins. You can change this setting manually or remove it altogether. Here you may specify certain days to be non-working and choose time intervals when Linked Helper should be active and when it should not. These were the general limits. Let's take a closer look at the action limits. For simplicity, I'll take a simple two-step campaign, where I want to endorse my friends for graphic design skill and then after extract their profile too. On the general tab of each action, set a delayed start by picking a future date and hour when the action must start. Also, customize any action-specific settings, such as which skills to endorse. Finally, split your queue into batches, telling Linked Helper to endorse 10, 20 or 50 profiles and then have pauses. For demonstration purposes, I will instruct the software to endorse 5 profiles and then have a 3 minute pause. As you'll remember, we still have a limit not to go over 150 actions per day. On Delay Settings tab, switch between Safe and Fast Timeouts.
or configure your own custom intervals. Now because there's no messaging involved, I prefer not to add delay between actions, between action 1 and 2. This means that right after endorsing, Linked Helper will proceed to extract him immediately. Campaigns are wired in a way to pull your contacts through the funnel as quick as possible rather than catching maximum contacts into the funnel. So it performs bottom-up, going from the latest action, if there is anything in the queue, to the earliest. Remember, if you want to start all your campaigns in one click and you have no preference as to which one must be done first, you can simply click Start Campaigns Runner. This will trigger all your current campaigns, except stopped or completed, to kick off. Linked Helper will act on each campaign one after another.